Hey! It's time for a video game. Actually, literally from the top. I had to stop and start the recording again. Because my mic wasn't working. But today we're playing this! I'm doing it again. Same bit, I guess, where I shoved this thing at the, at the camera. Playing Jedi Power Battles. Provided my PlayStation works. And it appears to be working, shockingly. You can see my patrician taste in video games. Metal Gear Solid 4, Persona 3, and Suicoden 2. Uh, I only play games that have the number of the console in the name of the... Uh, of the game itself, otherwise it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, you got really good at resetting yourself when you're back to your computer? I mean, you, you say that, you think that. No wallpaper? Yeah, I never really customized the PS3. It wasn't really my thing. Anyway, this has some of my favorite cinematic characters of all time, including Space Wizard and Chunky Throwback. Some of my favorites there. Uh, as noted in a previous stream, this is this is the property of Rich. You can see his name there. But, uh, that might be a K, but it sure looks like an H. Rich, I busted into your house and I stole your childhood memories. They're mine now. I own them. Oh, like some God. kind of, uh, some kind of Harry Potter-esque villain that would then steal your memories and, and thus your essence. Uh, real solid picture of, of the crew. Of our boys. Our fighting boys. Let me slam this home. We're still in episode one, though, which is weird. This is episode one Jedi Power Battles. So... I feel like, yeah, a lot of the cast that really got kind of, I mean, cast is a strong word. A lot of the characters that sort of got tossed up in episode two aren't in here. Which is kind of where I would expect a game like this to sit when you have a bunch of, like, bit, bit level uh, Jedi, what have you. You love that game? Okay, Shed Mother, thank you, because I have never played it. Uh, this will be new for me. Hold on, i got to turn on my... Let's hope it just works. This is going to be a really short stream if this game doesn't work. This is your night, everything is right Come light up my life, it's a summer night This is your night, come and hold me tight Yes, you are the one, it's a summer night My phone just started playing this, but... Sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, Alex, you've identified it. That is Gunther and the Sunshine Girls. Um, if only it were summer. Yeah. Sorry, I was just fiddling with my phone, and yeah, that's the uh, that is that is the same gentleman who performs. What's the name of it? Ding Ding Dong Song. Yes. Uh, the uh, the artist, the the musician. Yeah, that's the same guy. You, you guys have nailed it. Uh, I was just taking in some music, taking in some media. I think I, I, think I fudge tapped my, uh, my music player somewhere in there. Hey, who hasn't been there, right? Sorry, just getting the, getting the lights going. Okay. Um, let me kick this up here. That's right, disc. Got, got some profiles for all of our characters. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Interesting. PS3. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was possible to output SD signal. It just works. Yeah. Hold on a second. Um, I thought that if the signal was HDMI, that it had to be at least 640 by 480. But I could be wrong about that. Doesn't it have HDCP? It's going through a splitter that should remove HDCP. And I've used it to play PS1 games in the past. Um, specifically, like that was the last thing that was in it was a PS1 game that I I had I did totally. Um, hmm, this is acting very strangely. K 
Okay, one second. One second. I'll be right back, guys. I'm, I have to move some HDMI cables around and see what happens. See you soon. Oh no, 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 uh, fucking, fucking Sony controllers, dude, this shit, I just put it down, boop, oh, wait there, did someone hit a button, wait there, wait, we better stop the cutscene right now, somebody wants to play, no, no, Sony, nope, no, turns out the one surface, the only, uh, the only thing this controller does, aside from being in your hands, is be on something, which means no matter what, something's gonna be touching those controllers all the time. Why was that a good idea? Why did they keep doing that? Eh. I don't get it. I'm angry. I'm angry and I've never been... I've never been more pissed off in my life. Uh, look at that. Not even a fucking DualShock. Damn, alright. I remember when I first saw uh, the PlayStation controller, I was like, two shoulder buttons? Get out of here. <laughs> I just remember thinking that. I was like, there's no way. Pfft, come on, it's never gonna catch on. Too many. Too many. Get out of here. Hey, uh, hey, Joshua. It's like, L1, L2, pfft. Sure, sure, whatever. Just put buttons everywhere, why don't you? You need to put memory foam on every surface in your house? You're right. Uh, I did finish 7 Remake, yeah. This game is really quiet. Run, run, lock, jump, block, force. Block, run, lock, okay. And attacks. I guess that's for the triggers to... All right, sure. I gotta watch the credits after. I just want to take a little peek. All right, I just wanted to see how they were. Usually, if they give them away like that, it's not that special. Man, you can even see like the cropping, the cropping errors on the menu. Like a, a really shitty version of Photoshop had to cut out these. Uh... Ugh, like even on the fonts too. Man, old games are rad. All right, I've never played this before. Never in my life. Get out of here. I have no idea what I'm doing, and I don't know what's in this. So, uh, we're on a journey together. I think I need to turn it up just a little bit. I'll give it just a little bit. Alright. It's like... Why is it only doing it some of the time? Lightsabers always make sound. They all have levels? No way! I mean, I gotta be... I gotta be fucking Mace Windu. Why would I not be Mace Windu? I remember that. Did character models? Yeah. They only make sound when they move. How are Sif's colleagues handling stuff? Um, pretty fine as far as I know. They made the announcement about the game not getting... Uh, hold on. Crawl time. something about the beginning of a crawl that just makes you think, yes, I will, I will do very well here. I don't know, maybe not so much lately. So are these, are, are these like beat-em-up levels that loosely follow the plot of episode one? They pick apart. Yeah, taxation. No taxation without representation. I mean... It is kind of a cool setting. I gotta admit. The opening of episode one, it's taken me so long to understand the nuance of it. But like a, a legal blockade. 
It's such a fucking wild thought. I feel like that says so much about the state of the state of like government at that time. This game is such a guilty pleasure. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going on in it. Yeah, it's it's a super dope premise. I feel like how do you tell that story in a movie though? Ah, it almost makes feels like it should have been books that they could have really like hit every angle on. I don't know. I feel like, to some degree, I feel like I get the big picture of the prequels now, and seeing the individual movies is very comfy, except episode two, um, because now that, I feel like you had to see episode three to kind of get what the point of all the prequels was, and actually kind of how, it, no, it was told pretty poorly, but the story is actually really great. I don't know. I don't know that I'll ever think about 789 that way. Anyway, go King Rai. Thank you for the Prime sub. Uh, Midichlorian Reader Qui-Gon is actually a shaving razor. Hey, that's Star Wars, right? That's that's true to the spirit of the movies. Um, uh, also, Jake Wu-Tan. Thank you for the Prime sub. There were a ton of... There was a lot of subs I missed during the reading, but... I appreciate... Oh my gosh. It's me. I appreciate all the... Ooh. All right, we're not moving. Oh, I guess he just gets surrounded. Or wait, no, D-pad. All right, don't didn't hit the button. Okay, hold up. Oh wait, there is no button on this. All right, well, D-pad it is. We are we are pre dual shock. All right, I think this run was over. There it is, guard. So this is just this is just like, huh? Is this like a fucking Dynasty Warriors? Just like a really, a really mindless beat em up with levels and stuff. I mean, I'm down with that. I never played this. I keep saying that. I feel like I have to keep the keep. I feel like the the default is assuming that somebody has played this. Ugh. That's death. Huh? Oh, how exciting! Okay. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Uh, the analog. Uh. Yeah, I think there. Are, uh, I think you could turn on analog mode in like the meta settings, but I want to try it on the D-pad. See how it's like. Oof. Oh. Oh. Got him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey Leo. I was watching an old fun house video. See so you guys mentioning about piracy, how big of a problem in the gaming industry. Do you think it has anything to do with GameStop being affordable in most Asian countries? Um I think I think there's a lot of factors that go into it. I think uh regional pricing is certainly one of them. In a lot of different ways. Fuck. There we go. Although, like, PC is weird, because I feel like it's it's actually pretty easy to buy out of region. Yeah, I'm doing that by chronological release. Ow. A chronological release, um, according to some list I found on a wiki. Uh, so... I guess it, it may not actually be that way. I didn't like double check double check the math. I just kind of took the list. And they have to be about the prequel movies or featuring the prequel movies. Cuz there were several actually good Star Wars games that also came out in that time that were not in that timeline. Oh my gosh. Trying to, trying to have some style here. Oh, the Atari games? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh. There were some. There were like S, NES and Super Nintendo games before that too, and PC games. Like a lot of the, a lot of the pre, pre prequel PC games were super solid. <laughs> It's a, it's, it's a bummer, because I feel like everyone that remembers, like, Battlefront so warmly, I'm like, eh, 
But, man, Jedi Knight was so amazing. Um, amazing might be the wrong word now, but it was, it was super cool. It felt like, you know, maybe not movie quality, but close enough for a while. <laughs> Got him. Phantom Menace was also a decent game. Oh, the top-down one? It was ambitious. Um, decent, maybe a strong word. But I appreciate that it, it clearly wanted to try something. I don't think it actually did. But uh, I appreciate the attempt. Star Wars Demolition isn't a prequel game. It takes place after Empire. It has pre-lockable... Oh, okay. Demolition is not a prequel game. Okay, I think actually Demolition I let slip through then. Flowing list of every Star Wars game ever. Yeah, it was... I can't remember. It was It was on a Star Wars like wiki fan site, I think. I didn't, like, find a, something on Wikipedia or anything. But the one that I saw seemed to be comprehensive enough. I guess it's possible there are... Oh. Ow. There are yet games that uh, I haven't uncovered. Jesus. I just gotta kill every last robot on the ship, huh? Do that. It's not a prequel game. Well, then it doesn't count. I've been hardline about it, which means I can't play Shadows of the Empire, which does hurt. Oh! No! Poor... Uh, protocol droid? Can't be on that. I'm in the year 2000. I'm doing it! That's not 1999. So, we're moving, we're moving! It's, it's weird how front-loaded the list is, too. There are so many, um... So many releases in 99 and 2000 around episode 1, and then it just all kind of mellows out. Um, I guess because they, I guess at that point, they stopped farming the license out to everybody. Star Wars Race... Racer Arcade. Oh. Man, maybe. I guess I could get that working, uh, I guess I could get that working on MAME or something. Yeah, I guess, I guess maybe the only, or the list I saw was only home releases. Is there nothing to do with that? Oh. Yeah, I think it's just the arcade version of, of Episode 1 Racer. And while I'm sure the Episode 1, or the, the arcade version is massively different, it does start to, does start to get into a weird territory of like, do I need to play, do I need to play the port of every episode game on every system? Holding up for Bounty Hunter and Republic Commando. So, yeah, those those are those qualify. Which was kind of for some reason all of this kind of came from just I never played Star Wars Obi Wan for Xbox, and I was like, oh, I wonder if I can. And I was like, why don't I just do them all? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we already did uh, Anakin Speedway. The learning games we've done are uh, Yoda's Activity Center and um, Anakin Speedway. There are, there's like a math one. Uh, there's like two or three more educational baby games. Uh, hey, Starbanex, thanks for gifting a sub. Also, Leo, thank you for the sub. True Brit, appreciate the sub. Do I jump? What's going on here? Yeah, creepy Yoda. <laughs> All right. Platforming on point. See you assholes later. I'm sure I need to jump to something. This is pretty sick though. Pyo! Remember this game looking much better? Yeah, most people do. There they are. Get them. I mean, CRTs had a kind of had kind of built-in uh, image blending, so. There they are. It may have looked a little better. Actually better. But at the same time. It looks like trash! Okay. Ow. I gotta, I gotta hit it with my laser sword. Oh my gosh, it's just a straight up boss. This rules. 
What's up? I need to. <laughs> Looking on the list of movies on Shutter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for uh, Joe Bob Briggs. Um, they have his own well, service I mean, or something. It's, it shutters the service. Mm. Right? It's the horror movie service, and the thing is, is that's that's who has now is going to bring us more Joe Bob. So like, they're going to start new episodes in like a week. So that'll be good. Okay. Watch that next Friday. Yeah. But looking through the films that they have available on the service shutter, one of them is Hansel and Gretel get baked. And it's a story <laughs> of these teens, Hansel and Gretel, who get lured in by an evil witch played by Laura Flynn Boyle, Ooh. which is hilarious. Okay. Who has a special marijuana blend that <laughs> she brings in behind <laughs> She lures in the teens. How did I not know that this was a movie? It was recorded. Ever. I, I didn't know. Yeah, what year? That, 2013. In the oh, year wow. of our Lord, 2013. And we didn't even know. It just fucking sailed right by us. That's all I'm saying. We really do have to slow down sometimes. So life, life comes at you fast. It does. Because we missed Hansel and Gretel get baked. And it has like a big... Fucking pot leaf on. I was like, <sighs> yeah. How did how stoner did this media for and about y'all? stoners is rarely subtle with its uh, influences. Weed. Yeah. <laughs> Wacky tobacco. Hippie lettuce. So are they going to show Electric that soon? Electric lettuce. What? Are they going to show that soon, or is that just on the? No, service? that's just on the service to watch. Like I almost started to watch it because I thought this has got to be the worst thing ever. But you should actually be there as part of it. Of course. But I am not. I'm not going to pull you away. But I'm no, just I'm... letting you know. How did we miss this? Yeah. How did we miss this? Like, this this poll tent pole entertainment. <laughs> how did we miss it? Well, how, it's gone how crazy. How did it slip by? I don't know. How did that marketing campaign high powered life reach us? Texts and your tweets and your out replies. Gets you just you get loose things sometimes. How? How dare they? Yeah, it's tough. Your favorites and your retweets and just, you know. <laughs> just goes in one, yeah. one ear and out your phone. Just falls that's out, just falls your head. Uh, no, that's fine. It's a good time to announce. I'll pro- I probably won't be streaming for much longer. So, got uh, Media Tech on at 8, which is in 30 minutes anyway, so. Okay. So, yeah. I just wanted to get this. This was honestly, I wanted to see if I could get this working. And it seems to be working, so that's cool. This game's weird. I well, enjoy, enjoy spending more time with it. It's okay. I just wanted to let you know that that was, that was a film. Okay. That is a piece of cinema. Cinema. Yeah, people worked on it. Yep, somebody ran me. sound. Somebody edited it. Wow. Wow. Well, I can't wait. Oh. Yes, Mace Window. You can't tell? Dude, look at him. He's got everything. Sword. Pajamas. That's Mace Window. Name one other thing about Mace Windu that's not those things and how visible they are right now. Mid-boss strats wait for him to stop attacking moving and hit the eye once. Okay. That's it. Magical blend of marijuana. Magical blend of marijuana. No purple saber? I don't think anyone thinks... <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I guess purple... Yeah, maybe that was before purple. I mean, he wasn't... He didn't have his saber in the movies yet, right? That only happened in... Oh, right, no stick. That was only episode two. I wonder if you can get hit every time and still win. Got him. Thanks for giving me another chance. That hurt a lot. Also, I feel like there's force powers I'm not using. I was a fool. Oh. He can still hit you with his nubbin. Oh, Jesus. L1 or L2 plus the face button for power? So, okay. Oh. I think it might be. That's lock on? Okay. All right. Wait, 
Wait, what? I don't... I did it once, but I can't do it again. Oh, it's... Okay, it's L2. Is it? Okay, I guess he only has one power. Okay. Two. Oh, it's two player? Okay. I could see that being I could see that being a good night. Posting up with your with your mans. Playing some goddamn Jedi fights. Oh, I get to do the slide again. What console is this in? This is being played on a PlayStation 3. Yeah, didn't have the high ground. Ooh. What? Now it's got the high ground. Oh, sorry. It's on a PS3. This is a PS1 game. Um, but I'm playing it on a PS3. Apologies for the confusion. There they are. Get them. Also on Game Boy Advance too. Okay. Yeah, backwards compatible PS3. One of the Chonk Boys. Oh! Oh! Wait. Oh. I took a lot of damage before I got here. This friend has one? Yeah. They're, they're amazing pieces of hardware. I mean, they cost way too much, but... I don't know how they go- how much they go for now. I have a Chong PS3, but not the backwards compatible one. Yeah. The one that had straight up like a PS2 inside of it. Absurd. <laughs> Once you can load Linux on? Yeah. I mean, that was this one. It actually had the, uh, the original capability to load other operating systems, but, um,. I got my 10 bucks from that lawsuit, so... What are you gonna do now, idiot? Oh, it's the golden one piece? One? Huh, I don't know that one. I miss you playing the end of seven. How did you take it? I actually... I was okay with it. Um, I... I see the need to do what they did, and they did it in a very Final Fantasy way, so... I'm not... I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think that they, you know, they did the thing where they, they almost shoot a gunshot of a hole into the story they're telling to tease out another game. I guess, to, to me, they won a lot of points with the game, game design being as good as it was. If, because, like, if it's a narrative game, or if the, the combat's dumb and it's not, like, interesting, and, and then they do a teaser, well, or... They do a tease in addition to that. I'm like, why do I give a shit? Like, I don't care about your story, and I don't care about your game. Uh, but this one was more like, I love your, I love your game. Like, I want to play more of that. That's awesome. And there was enough in the story that worked that the the like the teasing hooks didn't bother me so much because at least there was other stuff. Like, it's there are things that are only teasing hooks sometimes, and it's just like, okay, this is just one long uh, blue ball in terms of narrative. So, no thanks. I'll just, I'll take care of it myself. The usual... Oh wait, those are... I didn't even see those as bridges. Um... I felt like there was enough. There was enough that it didn't need that, and I'm, I'm kind of okay with it being in there. To the degree that it is. Oh. Abs. Could have handled Sephiroth a lot better. Well, yeah. I mean, that's to that's to imply that they could have handled him at all. He was only he was only like he didn't say anything. He didn't do anything. So I don't know. He was just kind of a big. I feel like a big uh, piece of fan service. This is weird. It felt like a lot of fan service on top of like the usual teases to other games. Except that I feel like. Uh, they had to double up on the teases. It was like if if 
you knew who he was, it was fan service. If you didn't know who he was, it was teasing to another game. And then they also have teases into another game for the people who don't know the original Seven. So it's it's kind of weird how it like to some degree a lot of the elements of, of the story and how it was told and the way it ended remind me of just like ticking things off of a of a list of like we functionally need the story to do X, Y, and Z just because that's good marketing. So how do we work that in? How do we hit those beats? It felt more like that. Which, whatever. Not... I don't I don't mind it when there's other things going on. And there's a lot of other, other stuff going on. So, I was cool with it. I was cool with it in the long run. And I guess I was also kind of expecting worse, to some degree. Alright, now this guy's gonna expect my lightsaber. Boom. What are the sub-only media tech streams? Uh, they're not sub-only. I need to take the... I need to change that on the calendar. I thought I did. Um, they used to be sub-only, and then I realized that... That really arbitrarily puts a creator in my weekly viewership, so... Uh, that's not cool. It'll, like, actively prevent me from uh, being able to do ad deals and stuff. But, uh... So it's not sub-only, but media tech is just... It's just the clips that I, I edit. Um, those just run randomly for an hour or two. Um, that's it. Am I gonna get squashed? Oh, no. It's my, it's my shitty replacement for Cinema Tech. Um, I have designs on where to take it creatively. And I'm tiptoeing there. Progress in that regard is a lot slower than I would like, but... Gotta, gotta pace things out sometimes. Jesus. I'm waiting for Complete 7 Remake. You mean the PC version, or when they finish... When they, like, finish all the seven remake parts? I don't know, man. Uh, knowing how Kingdom Hearts goes... And, and I hate to keep thrown to that, but... I really think Square's the kind of company that's gonna keep making a game forever. Unless it, uh, stops selling. And then we'll just stop, so... I... The feeling I get with seven remake is, like, they're not planning on... Fucking wrapping it up. This is this is trying to create a whole new like market and, and platform. I could be wrong, but I feel like like is Kingdom Hearts done? Think about it that way. What if you played Kingdom Hearts one and in, in what two thousand one, or or you saw it and then you were like, you know what? I'll just chill out. I'll chill on that until it's until it's done. I think that's the way to think about it. Um, I think that's what we're in for. Yeah. So, you might as well enjoy it while it's here, for what it is, is, is kind of where my head's at. So I had to give 15 another try, installing PC was 552 gigabytes, that's a chonky ass game. But obviously 15 is huge. And that's what's weird to me is like, I don't remember the, the texture inconsistency with that game, even on PS4. Because that's where I played it first. These are some cool environments. There is something comfy about really chonky, blockety ass uh, PS1 piping. Because God knows every fucking other level in that in any PS1 game was pipes. There's fucking pipes everywhere. I'll call it the pipe station more like because of all the damn pipes. Am I right? Yeah. I'm right. Okay, that's not guard, though. He holds the sword up like he's guarding, so I think he's doing it. Ooh. Oh, you tried to play 15 again, but you can't choose 4K or not? Oh, it doesn't have, like, a perf I thought it had, like, performance mode. Got him. Why the PS1 looks so shit compared to the N64? PS or N64 had some some built-in texture filtering, and I think it had just super super. I, I want to say it had just super shitty anti-aliasing, but shitty was enough. I can't quite remember. Speci like the the PS4 specifically had a few extra kind of hardware graphical early 3D engine shit going on. Um, to be frank, with like. With proper texture work, the difference is kind of faded away. I say proper. More like, how much could you hide? The 64 games were more cartoony, which helps. That's true. Yeah. I mean, that was that was kind of why everything was more cartoony back in the day. 
Yeah, Nathaniel, are you going back to your childhood? You used to play this game when I was 10 and loved it? Can never get past the next level? That's okay. Your, your big brother's in the room now. Although, I don't know, I've, I've already lost a couple lives, so... Hey! If you... wait, so if you just if you just eat it and die, is that it? I guess I'll find out. Ooh. Or maybe I won't with moves like that! Huh. <laughs> Oh, you got a gift sub? Might be weird. Nice. Yeah, I saw some sub. I saw some gifts drop earlier. Unfortunately, unfortunately, when I'm in, when I am enjoying my literature, it's hard for me to keep an eye on uh, sub activity. I guess I haven't watched the Crash Dev video, did you? No, I haven't seen that. Has been talking about Crash, the main man Crash Bandicoot. Oh boy. Did these pipes just disappear. I Kind of gift subs the other day. That's true. You're right. Yeah, may yeah, definitely could have been in one of the bombs, I guess. All right, maybe in trouble. That was a weird sound for climbing up on something. Uh, do I drop down? Make it all the way to Naboo. You need to control a tank. Ooh. So it's just a series of like beat em up levels that are loosely patterned after after the movie. Is there an elevator? Uh it seems like there should be one here. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, no problem. Got it, got it. I don't know why pipes didn't tell me to go up. They tried their best, man. That, oh, that was on me. That one's on me. Yeah, it's hard for the Dark Souls. Uh, the game, like, in the era before games were, like, super, super focus tested. I guess focus testing is... Ow. Had benefits, fuck me. Are you serious? I Why do I have like a 40 foot saber? I mean, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong, but. Huh! Oh, God. I can cut God in half with this thing. I don't know if that's canon. Steve! Steve, get on get on the wiki! We got some shit to talk about! Steve! Oh. Sick. Oh. Always worth it for you. Yoda! <laughs> of course it's Mace Windu. Got a bigger saber than anyone. Oh. What a duel. Dang it. Let's hope there'd be health out here. Yeah, we need. <laughs> Gotta ask Jacob about the long saber. Oh. No, no sound, no nothing. I don't get. I don't get to hear Yoda's pedo laugh. Lame. Oh. There we go. Worth it. Oh, okay, so you get another life at 10, 10k, huh? It seems like there's some kind of combo system, too. There's a little uh, meter that seems to drain out. Yeah, you gotta get that score. You gotta get damn points. When's the last time you played a game where you gave a shit about points? It's been too long. Oh, gave it up. Ooh. That's far back. What is what is that icon on the lower left? Is that a thermal detonator? Holocron? Maybe? I guess I had one at some point, but 
Now I don't. Cobra, you used to play this? You got all the you got all the hot strats. You gotta give me all the codes, bruh. Score counters in games seem weird and took a long time to die out. Yeah, they did. I wonder how much of it is because it was just a it was just a convention that everyone followed, or how much of it was like a long time players actually cared about score, just because they like couldn't grow out of it. Weird thing though. Halo had score. That's true. Halo actually made it matter though, which I appreciated. It, ha it had like whole modes where score was the point. Oh. It was to mix them both? Yeah, probably. I think guard sometimes? You get this? I guess they want me to use that all the time, because I get so much meter, and it doesn't really use that much. <laughs> Draw distance is kind of impressive. They can hit you when it's like two or from you. Interesting. I'm curious what that bar under the score means. Is there like a multiplier if you murder enough? Also, it seems like reflecting lasers is the most point efficient way to murder murder droids or maybe maybe just the the non punchy ones are worth 150 in block stamina oh so if it like if it fills up they'll they'll break your block kind of thing okay that makes sense <laughs> Duel. This game looked so good when I was a kid, now not so much. Yeah, that's kind of the interesting thing. Everyone seems to have much more vivid memories of these games. Which is what's fascinating to me. I, I feel like... Uh, I feel like um, it's something... I've thought a lot about this phenomena. Uh, with like retro games and how, given enough time, your imagination sort of really does think about things differently. I feel like in the way that like... Let's say you read a book, let's say you read Harry Potter, right? And you read about Hogwarts. It doesn't have to list every little thing in Hogwarts for you to see it in your mind, right? The power of imagination. It happens automatically. You just, you know what Hogwarts looks like. Um, even if you don't actually know, like every little detail, you still know in your mind, like what it looks like and you know how to go there kind of thing. I feel like, uh, oh, the bus repairs are on quick. I thought you just had to hold it down and get lucky. Okay. I see. That's kind of neat. A little timing game then? Because there, there is a pretty readable gap. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's like a bomb or something? Uh, I feel like there's a similar phenomenon with retro games. Where you look at chonky little pixels and you get a pretty minimal story. But since you're playing a game, your imagination automatically fills in all these details because you just have a lot of time to think. And I feel like there's a there's a lift that happens with retro games and because of that, you know. You play the game and while you're doing it, you're imagining like imagining an HD version of it in your head. 
Something like that happens whether you want it to or not. Just something. Boom. Go back and rewatch Shrek, Shrek 1. It's actually terrible looking. Yeah. Shrek 1 looks awful. Um, there are a couple of scenes that look pretty good, but most of it is astoundingly dated. I need to go back and watch Toy Story again. Ow. Oof. For certain one did not age well. Oh, I forgot, yeah, I got long saber. What am I worried about? With long saber, every ground is the high ground. Awesome. What? Oh, there's there's like a stopping animation, okay. I'm not doing so hot on. Oh! Still not doing so hot on uh, health. I guess maybe you get a little score penalty when you. Oh! Man, they don't even acknowledge it. Like, not a, not a game over, not a you died, no nothing. Just. Bonk! Somehow that's even worse. Like, the, the game's, like, too bothered to acknowledge you just fucked up. <sighs> yeah, meaty tech soon, for sure. I want to try it one more time. I'll have to give this game a, uh... I'll have this game... Give this game a real... A real... A real... A, a real try-in later. I may have to read the manual. I saw that they... I saw that, that everyone's got some moves. There are a lot of episode one games. Yeah, yes. Uh, out of out of the ep or the list of games that I prepared, I want to say a solid half of them are episode one. Actually, probably more than that. There's so many that came early and and heavy. What version is this? Play the shade out of this on GBA. This is PlayStation One. Yeah, maybe maybe I got to check out the GBA version too. I'm surprised that Game Boy Advance doesn't have more of a retro scene. Maybe it does, but I figured there'd be a whole crew of people that are just fucking nuts for Game Boy Advance right now. It's about it's about it that old and had such such an awesome library. How would you stream a GBA game? Emulator. Ow. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh my god, I just hit the deck and died. Holy shit. I love this game. Oh my god. Just pancaked. My man's is a is a space wizard and he dropped 20 feet and he's out. That's it. Tap out. Done. Oh, his bones melted? Yeah, his, sh his shin shot through his face. Wow. Alright, good, good time to end the stream. I'm gonna come back to this though. This is not the end of uh, Jedi Power Battles. This is actually a pretty cool game. I could I could see myself getting really into this if I played it episode one time. Um, just want to say you've been a fan for a few years now. Great to see you smiling more, and thanks for being entertainment while working from home. I'm glad that I could be that for you. But my time doing that has come to an end. Actually, that's a lie. No, I'm gonna. This is gonna keep going for another couple hours. Uh, so yeah, every Friday, do something called Media Tech. It's my it's my stupid take on uh, Cinema Tech. Where and I just let the bumpers go, so it's basically like if I ever take a long break, basically that, just without the text blinking at the bottom. So that's it. Uh, I use I sometimes lately have been trying to like wrap in music and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna go hang out with Steph. So you know, just clips for a while if you want to watch uh, commercials and things like that. It's good background noise. That's what I that's what I aim for here. So thank you for watching. Have a great night. Watch games done quick. They're doing Corona Relief done quick all weekend. I'll be watching that all the time. So uh, do that. That's my advice to you. All right. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. And happy Friday. Uh, that's another reason why I like